it's Alexa back with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing a 2019 Ford Edge ST. This is actually a new platform somewhat that they have here on the Ford dealership. We're actually at Sheehy Ford off of Midlothian Turnpike. I do have my salesman Mike here with me. But here we have, like I said, the 2019 Ford Edge ST. So you guys are still selling the regular Edge models, correct? Are, so, absolutely. okay. So do you know what made them decide to go with a sportier model version and what are the differences? So um, basically, um, this they increased the horsepower of the Sport by 20. So you get 335 horsepower with this. Okay. So this is like, if you if you were a guy, you know, and you owned a Mustang or a Camaro or a sports car, mm -hmm. and then say, you know, you ended up having kids, you know, and <laughs> Plenty you're like, of them out there, you're yeah, like yeah. man, I just want to relive my dream. Yeah. Bam, here it is. Boom. You know, that <laughs> is what you got. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this is the first crossover to make the uh, Ford Performance line, which okay. is uh, pretty impressive. It's an nice. SUV that handles like a car. We'll okay. see that shortly. I've been seeing um, some, some of the videos out there where they're actually... Uh, tracking these vehicles getting a uh, hot lap times you know mm -hmm. for stuff like yeah. that and i was like that's crazy so yeah. i never heard of it before i've heard of the edge obviously but the st type of version since they're uh getting rid of the focus st correct they are so yeah, they okay production okay so this is somewhat of a middle ground i don't think this comes in manual does it uh, no no okay. no no maybe All in right. a couple years but. i mean if enough people ask for it but i mean here's the front fascia i like the angles Absolutely. um it's very you know slick. yeah I, I like all of the black interior they paid attention to you know have gloss black all the way back before and the radiator as you so. can see this also has active grill shutters just like the uh, mustang oh you're right i see that now okay so it adjusts to the temperature outside so your engine can get the most optimal performance Absolutely. i really like that and i actually see they have some vents here mm -hmm. so it makes it a little more aerodynamic so you guys can see a little daylight that comes through here so air can travel right through here and um, won't slow your car down. They have nice curves, so it's more aerodynamic as well. I really like these headlights. All the designs right here. But yeah, got some nice LED headlights here, looking really good. I don't think these are Brembos, but no, I mean they look. Brembos. I mean they look like they work pretty well. They, they, they're, they're really large brakes. I will say that. Really so if I open the back door here, because you know this is probably going to be a vehicle where you have multiple people in here, but the back seat room looks pretty good. Um, I mean, it's not huge. Some of these pickup trucks actually have a lot of backseat room as well. But, um, you know, this is a decent space you got here. If I look, I see I have heated seats in the back. So that's pretty awesome. Got a 12 volt and we actually have a standard type of house plug here. So you guys can plug up anything you absolutely need to. You do have vents back here. Um, if I pull this down, got cup holders and a nice little armrest if you need it. Is this one of those that pops up on its own? Uh, yeah, so, you know, once again, you know, soccer mom, soccer dad, whatever you are. So, you know, you got your kid or whatever. You're like, yep. oh, my God, I can't get anything, you know? The power there of editing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there you go. Nice. But you kick under, and, of course, it will come out. Wow, this is actually really decent space. From where I was standing up there, it didn't look like that much. Right. But, um, you know, as soon as you open the door, nice. You even got a charger back here. Mm -hmm. So, it, oh, does this have third row seating? Uh, no third row seating, unfortunately. Um, you'll get okay. that in the Expeditions and the Navigators. I see. Is this something that will lift and drop the seats mm -hmm. for you? Yeah, you can go ahead and hit the button. Ha! Okay. Go. On each side. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Does it lift it for you? It uh, doesn't lift it. No, okay. Not this vehicle. Okay. Well, but we do have some to do that. Okay. Nice. So, you know, if you guys have some big piece of furniture and you're like, oh, crap, we forgot to let down the seats. Boom, you just hit this button right here. Well, I really like that. And how does this close? Does this have a special button or? So oh, you, I see the button yeah, right here. Yeah, you can hit the button there. Okay. I believe. Oh, yeah. There you go. So you can use your right foot to there, close yeah. it too. So you don't actually have to kick it. You just have to be in the vicinity. Yeah, of don't the don't kick the car. Yeah. <laughs> just just and get and your foot near the sensor. All right, so this looks like we have a V6 EcoBoost. Got the nice little Ford Performance badge on there as well. Looking really nice and clean in here. Interesting um, intake system. But yeah, this is, uh, like I said, a pretty new uh, type of crossover vehicle that they have. So there's still a lot of information out there to be had. So I apologize if we don't hit every single talking point about this, but I really just wanted to give you guys an overview of what the vehicle is, how it feels to drive, price point, and everything like that. Speaking of price point, I'll go ahead and show you guys a glimpse of the window sticker. 
all right guys so if you're considering this vehicle might be a little hard to see but that is your window sticker price right there right around that point but of course these this vehicle so new it doesn't even have all of the uh, safety features listed on the, on here yet but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be five stars once they're rated so we can check out the inside got Ford performance right here pretty cool um, I like the gloss black uh, accents here we even got some chrome ones memory seats that's what's up I love memory seats so if I go ahead and sit in and um I'm not sure if you guys saw earlier I was greeted with the uh, ST badge kind of floating around and I love that it has a ST on the uh, steering wheel that makes it just feel even more sporty so I put my foot on the brake start it okay nice little rumble here's the screen very clear actually so is there a certain name for this type of uh, computer system that Ford uses? This is the Sync 3, and okay. we're using a Ford, uh, Ford Pass. So Ford that's going to be your okay. operating system. So okay. You can go Ford Pass Connect here and activate it, of course. Okay. Um, this has your navigation system. Mm -hmm. What's so unique about the, uh, the Sync 3, rather, is that um, the response time it's just like a phone. Mm -hmm. So before, you know, you wouldn't be able to do that. You had to kind of, you know, right. go in and out. But this uh -huh. is a lot easier to navigate. Okay. Of course, it comes with a Sirius XM Travel Link for six mm -hmm. years. You have your six months free of Sirius XM radio, mm -hmm. navigation, your mobile apps, Bluetooth camera, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, power mm -hmm. everything. Nice. Say the worst ha happens, Stoke Ford is a stickler on safety. Right. So pretty much, if the airbags deploy, mm -hmm. you, um, what this is going to do to 911 assist mm -hmm. is that it's going to call your phone when it's paired up via Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. If you don't answer, it's going to use a radar sensing system, and it's going to send the uh, EMTs there to you right away. Oh wow! Yeah, it's okay. really nice. nice, and that's not just limited to the ST. Uh -huh. That's a pretty unique feature on our Sync 3 system. Okay, has ambient lighting. Mm -hmm. So, Ooh, what's your favorite you can color? change it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Blue. Blue. That's absolutely. my favorite color. So, nice. when you have the uh, the headlights on at mm -hmm. night, of course, it's the interior cabin is going to It'll light change. Up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, here's where you're able to change your driving modes. I assume this is for sport. That is for so sport. So, that way you can start ripping it up and down the road. We will, we will definitely be testing that out. Yes, we will. <laughs> We have an auto stop start. Mm -hmm. no. This is going to be for the enhanced park assist. So this is where oh, it's going to park that's itself. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh absolutely. yeah, we're going to test that. And then we have the electric parking brake right here. Okay. Of course. So you pull up, pull down. Mm -hmm. and that's going to be your parking brake. Ooh, this heated seat is on. I definitely feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it back just a little, but it feels good. I like it. Absolutely. Of course, you can uh, control the climate here. Mm -hmm. Say you want some, you know, heated steering wheels, basically. Oh, it's on. I oh, can you feel do have it. it. Yeah, on? I see the little indicator. Yeah, yeah so it's you definitely would hit on. That oh, wow. You know, okay. You turn it on and off. Yep. And so here's your um, your music on the right side. Then you got over here. It shows you. I guess this. It shows you where you are in a lane. Yeah. So it's lane keeping assist. Oh, okay. So uh, I don't believe this one also comes with lane centering. So it'll also keep it helps you inside you. your lane. Okay. Absolutely. Got you. Stay in your lane. <laughs> it also has adaptive cruise control, which is pretty unique as well. So um, if the car is in front of you or braking, it'll adjust. It'll automatically. Break. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And I see this is a camera icon. Mm -hmm. So at five miles per hour max, mm -hmm. you hit this button and you can see what's in front of you. Say if you have a, you know, you're coming out of an alley mm -hmm. and you want to see, you know, you don't want to hit anybody like a right. dog or a bike or something, right. you know, especially in downtown Richmond. Yeah. You know how that is. Yeah, you know? I know. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's very helpful. To Check our store space in here. Oh, nice. And um, you said it was uh, wireless charging for Absolutely. your phone. Absolutely. Is this so any phone? Is going on. Um, so it's going to be an operating system that's relatively wow. new. Okay, mm -hmm. so a new operating system. Okay, because I was like, does this work with iPhone or Android? Doesn't it does matter. work with both, yeah. Okay, cool. Does, yeah. Got your two USB charging ports. Decent little uh, store space right there. Oh, and if I nice. check the middle, our middle console here. Oh, wow. It yeah, goes down really far. You got 12 volt uh, charging port right there. A nice little area if you want to keep change or something. And I love this panoramic roof. Oh, yeah. I, I'm a sucker for sunroofs, and I, I really like the way that looks. I assume you can let this back? You can, of course. So this is going to control your shade right here. Uh huh. And, of course, if you wanted to go back, just go ahead nice. and hit this button. Yeah. 
So if you really want to feel that wind in your hair. Oh yeah. You don't have to have just a sports car. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and you did say this is a uh, four wheel drive? This is all wheel drive. Oh, all wheel. Okay. So Got you. using a uh, curve control and torque vectoring. Uh -huh. um, an independent uh, four wheel drive. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to sense mm -hmm. um, when to kick in. So there's no switch. There's no where, switch. Yeah, because I was looking for it and I was like, so where are you able to switch? So it just, it senses. Mm -hmm. So it's oh, automatic, wow. yeah. There's a little secret storage space over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just realized that. Absolutely. Nice. So this okay. is why Fords are moving away from cars mm -hmm. because when you can have all this space and all this technology and we're about to see the performance of it. Right. Why go to a car? Okay. It's like this SUV will do everything and you get way more room in the back, you know, so. Absolutely. And of course, when it's snow on the ground, you might not have to worry as much compared Absolutely. to a car, so. All right, we're gonna see how this drives. Um, more storage space.